Um, this is not deep or interesting, but uh, logistically, how did you paint uh, the Syracuse and Brooklyn bridges? Uh, we painted the Syracuse and Brooklyn bridges using lifts, 80-foot lifts. The actual top of the building on, in Brooklyn, um, we employed a company called Colossal. They do billboard painting, and they came down from the roof. And we went up on 80-foot lifts. And I'm pretty sure the 80-foot lifts were way more dangerous than coming down off the roof. Like They were looking at us like smoking ciggies and looking at us like, you guys are doing it wrong. And the and the bridges in Syracuse were lifts too, but the Syracuse thing as well is we had to close down traffic. In Brooklyn, it was dangerous. Like we had people almost smashing into the lift, like dollar vans, like almost smashing into the lift, like all day long. Syracuse, everybody is really nice and polite. You've worked in a number of cities around the world. Do you find that after that your work in that city inspires other people to do similar kinds of projects in that city? Do, you, do other artists come up while you're working and, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, you know, I mean, Baltimore's got obviously a really flourishing independent mural, mural, mural thing happening here. So it was interesting of saying, of thinking like, okay, well, they do mostly pictorial work, so it'd be great to do like really text heavy and it'll balance it out a little bit. And same thing in Philadelphia. It's only jarring in places that don't have a mural tradition to do these giant text-based murals. Um, but we get calls all the time. I mean, we're, we've done, I think, 13 cities now. And that's, we want to do 99. But really the reality, like Creative Mornings, we want to be in 99 cities. But the reality is we can't do them all, but we, you know, the book that we published this year, it's like a how-to manual on how to do it. And for to do it in any community, you need political, you need social community work, and you need a little bit of money. Uh, my, I cleared $4,000 on this project last year, so hey. <laughs> 53 weeks, 54 weeks of hard work. and Pretty good, right, Maggie? <laughs> Boba got their money's worth. Yes, ma'am, you want to yell it out? You know, Baltimore was really interesting because there was like heavy blog, you know, action when we first started painting in Baltimore. Um, and you know, I, I honestly, it's Baltimore was really kind of amazing because people got up in arms about it instantly. And you know, I knew that about Baltimore. I knew if I I couldn't come down here and just be like wave my New York wand and expect everybody to just fall in line. I knew we were going to get some pushback on it. And, you know, but I, I grew up in Philadelphia, so I knew that was part of the deal, too. Like, you know, in Philadelphia, we were always tired of the New Yorkers coming down and eating off our plate. So I understood that. Um, I'm curious, you mentioned that you want to paint these dinosaurs really easily. Yes. How did you really get from there? You can't, the, the email address is icysignbaltimore at gmail.com. And, yeah, we'll get you on a list. We'll figure it out. Yes, ma'am. We knew that block of houses was going to be torn down, which was a little, was a, I think the main point of contention with people, they felt like, why are you painting on these walls that are going to get torn down in two months? It doesn't make any sense, except that when you come from a graffiti and a public art perspective, nothing's permanent. Like even the stuff that we have funded and beloved and people want and love, it goes away, it all goes away. So um, that was fine with us. We've and, the thing that, that I'm sticking to is if it lasts a day, it'll last forever. Thank you, Internet. So. Hi. Yeah, the easiest one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's closest, it's proximity first. Like, the thing that was really interesting was when we were on Eager Street, and it, the first thing that we, the first letter we painted was an O. And it was just to figure out like how big the rest of it was going to be. In case you're wondering with typography, I can go back to your question. Um, the, the font that we generally use is called, it's based on Sign Writer's Gothic, which became Gotham by Tobias Ferrer in 2000, where he took pictures of every sign in Manhattan that he thought looked cool. 
and he made a font based on it. And it's a really elegant, simple font. Every letter stroke is the same. So once you figure out one, you got them all. And, you know, the O's are perfect circles, which is good. That makes it easy. So when we painted Eager Street, the first thing we painted was the O. And the kids across the street were like, oh, that's got to say OTM. It's going to say OTM, right? And I was like, what is OTM? He said, oh, it's out the mud. I was like, out the mud? <laughs> like, yeah, you're out the mud. Like, I'm no longer in the mud. Like, I got out of the mud. Yeah, you're out the mud. I was like, what is that? That's the best thing I ever heard. And, like, <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's a movement. And I was like, is it a gang? Is it a... Is it a religion? Is it like, how can I be down? Like, what, what is it? And I'm like, I went online, I'm Googling it. I'm like, there's nothing here, you know? And I, I was like, I will paint out the mud on this as long as it doesn't bite me in the face like a week from now. Forever Together was much more or less of a gamble. Um, but it turned out that no, it was like this super positive, interesting thing. And we snuck in like OTM in the work, but we were like, that's just the greatest thing. I just wish, I wish you guys weren't hanging out like smoking blunts <laughs> across the street <laughs> for what we're painting. If you're only in the church down the block, then we could take your word for it, you know? <laughs> but they were on point. They were really great. And they weren't smoking blunts for the record. I'm just exaggerating. But it was, you know, so the community is proximity, but it's also sometimes the loudest voice, sometimes the quietest voice. So, usually the most succinct voice, so we can fit it on the wall. Yes, ma'am. I dropped out of the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. I highly recommend it. <laughs> I highly recommend the school and dropping out. Yes, ma'am. I noticed you keep saying we. Can you talk about the folks that work with you and how you help folks come to work with you? Do you know what you think of all over time? Is it a change? Do you work with you as a community? Like, how does, who is we? We is me, myself, and I, from fundamentally. And also, uh, I have a longtime collaborator named Mike that has been working with me for 15 years. And there's a, a larger group that goes from anywhere from three to 15 people, depending on. And they're all people that can letter. They can letter vans. They can letter boats. They can put, you can put a brush in their hand and they can do. If you want to work with us, you got to know how to do that first. Um, we would love to work with youth. Um, we try to figure out ways. We, we had a successful sign painting workshop in Baltimore, it's something we've been trying to do for years, but we finally found the two people that could pull it off. I can't do it. My mom's a teacher, and I'm just, I'm not able to do it. I can lead by example, um, but we found two people on our team that could do it, do it well, and we'd like to do more of it. So, but generally, we're working with aerosol, we're working with lead-based paint, so we want people of adult age. We, we're already m messing up young minds anyway, so. Strictly adults. Yes, sir. No. I mean, it works for Banksy, but I'm not doing it. I can do my own press. I'm good at this. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, did I, what did I say? Glenn Gary? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. No, Glenn Ross. I'm sorry. Here's your chance. What do you gonna what do you wanna ask? Well, I just think everyone it was a little controversial, I think the whole project and so my whole class at Micah was maybe like looking at the comments and they're like, Oh, that's cool, but like what are you gonna do to be fair, to be fair, I was in the middle of a of a project. There was nothing was defined and set up, but if you have a question, yeah, I could see a question forming behind your forehead. You're scared. What are you scared about? You're saying it's controversial. I've expressed some of the controversies. You obviously, if I haven't expressed any controversies, what did I miss? I, I personally really appreciate your work, and I'm really glad it's ending to see the people who are doing the community so much, because I have a whole class at Micah that doesn't want to do that. Where are they? Anybody else? Oh, I know. They were supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? I, I don't know. <laughs> what I would say to you and the rest of the Micah students is go out and work. 
Get out of school. Go work. The most surprising request was to go speak to some MICA students about public <laughs> artwork <laughs> rather than work out in public and make public artwork. I mean, what's the deal? <laughs> All right, you've been a great audience. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.